Probably thinking, where's George? I was thinking that as well. Oh wait, here he is. So everyone, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is gonna be, it looks like a triple unboxing and it kind of is. Uh, this is from Airsoft GI. Um, Airsoft GI were really amazing with me uh, during the whole uh, period of where my stuff got stolen. Contacting me on Instagram uh, was so nice. I think they offered me a $300 gift code uh, to basically restart my collection. Um, I said to them, look, I'm dealing with insurance. It's really lovely of you to do that and really appreciate it. Um, and actually they allowed me to give it away to a subscriber. So on the live stream, uh, one of the guys from the, the um, channel got given a $300 gift code courtesy of Airsoft GI, nothing to do with me. Right here, I've got three of their YouTube unboxing boxes uh, in the bundle pack. Um, so effectively, normally these are 150 each. They'll guarantee you at least 150 in value, but it could be anything. There's no list of items. Uh, and so with this one, you spend 400 instead of 450 and you get three of the boxes um, all delivered at once. One thing I would say is it's not combined shipping. Um, so even though you're spending 400, I think it was 460 with shipping. So obviously you're basically spending an extra $10 on shipping. Otherwise you'd get it for 450. So this one I think is 12, but we'll check it out. I think there's one item in this and it's heavy. Say hi to George. Hi George, what's up buddy? And uh, this is what we're gonna unbox. I think I see it's a Lance Tactical Box already. Yes it is. So uh, one box, this was 150 technically, is what I paid for it. Although with the discount, it was more like 120. Um, this looks cool though, and I think I know what it's gonna be based on this little booklet here. Uh, and three, two, one, it's cool. Um, so it's an M14, guys, which I think is awesome because I used to have an M14. Um, got that in the uh, Fox mystery box. I uh, can't remember, I think it was the 1000, my first ever mystery box on this channel. Um, obviously, oh, you know what I love about it is this, this handle. Um, one thing I would say about the M14s when I use them is they've got normally that angled handle, almost like an old sniper rifle. Um, and it's not that comfortable for me. I love the style of it for a little bit of time, but it definitely, uh, after a while, gets very painful almost holding the rifle this way. So I love that. It's almost like a shotgun. Um, it's got a little Picatinny rail here. I love this. It's the best thing about having an M14. Uh, switch here for semi and full auto. I mean, it does feel a bit plastic, guys. One thing I would say, like the body definitely feels like it's plastic. Um, this is all full metal, the kind of uh, upper receiver. It's got an adjustable cheek pad. Um, it's Lancer Tactical, so I think it's going to be on the cheaper end, um, but should be worth more than 150 So I'm going to move on to the next box, but at the end, I'm going to give you guys kind of a valuation of what everything costs, uh, and we'll see in terms of value what we've got. But it's a good start, a uh, pretty heavy piece, something I don't have, something I used to have, and actually, uh, I think it's really useful and usable, because um, an M14 is just kind of like that. Uh, timeless, I would say, kind of weapon that you could use in a lot of situations, whether you're playing Milsim or playing um, that more uh, kind of creative airsoft. Okay, so this is an empty box. So we're two thirds of the way through, guys. And this is, ooh, Classic Army. I like it. Um, so let's have a look. It's quite a small box. Um, so I think really on classic armies, I've only had like an M249, which actually was from Airsoft GI as well. But this is cool. Okay, so, oh, this is cool. Okay, so I think it's gonna be their sport line because it's a lot more plasticky kind of uh, uh, packaging and this feels like it's all plastic. So that's polymer in terms of the M-lock, polymer body. Um, it's classic army, so I think it's going to be a good model, and this actually is perfect for if I've got friends going to play with me. Um, plastic sights, flip up, flip down. Um, I mean, I don't think it's going to be the best uh, weapon, guys, but it's classic army, as I said, and I would expect this to be a good, kind of reliable weapon. I love M-Lock, uh, as I'm sure some of you guys are aware. This is a very plastic orange flash hider up here. George? Yeah, he's not sure about that one. Um, but guys, I'm pretty sure it's going to be worth more than 150. If not, you know, we're going to have to think about it and uh, kind of give some more feedback on that. But it's classic army. I'm pretty happy. Got a bit uh, a high cap mag with it. So that's that. Uh, and finally, George, excited? And 
this one's a slightly bigger box. It feels like they're all, all rifles or all weapons. So this one is not got anything else in the box with it. Yeah, so that is, sometimes they say you can get like bags of BBs or holsters or any of that stuff. So I'm pretty glad that I didn't get any of that. And what is this? Arcturus Tactical. I'm sure I've heard that name, but it's not like one of the big brands. I need to look this up, and guys, and see what the value is. It looks like a nice box. Dedicated to enthusiasts. Arcturus. Performance Air Seal. Let's have a look. I'm expecting this to be more of like your M4 uh, kind of base model. Which it is, kind of, but almost not. Okay, so I like this. Look at this, guys. Um, it's got an Arcturus. Uh, quality certificate. Looks like they've actually put it through and they've fired one, two, three, four, five rounds through it. So I like it when, when uh, manufacturers do this. I'd love to know what you guys think, whether you think that's also good or you think it's annoying that they're going through and firing a weapon ahead of that. Um, okay, so this is cool. It's almost like, it looks like a heavy, maybe like a heavy AK round. Um, okay, so there's almost like a sweat band there from Arcturus, good branding and a double patch, it looks like. So they've got their kind of brand there, AK-12 AEG. Number one, because there does not just one mag with it, but there are two. And as you can see, it's that AK style. And they are, one's a high cap, one's a mid cap. Again, awesome. Kind of gives you both. Um, there is a converter Deans to Tamiya. Again, awesome. Okay, this feels solid. Um, okay, guys, so... It's a big gun, you know what I mean? Uh, it's a very long rifle. It is definitely, I think, more of that, um, more of that kind of heavy LMG style. Okay, this is cool. Sliding, I mean, this just feels awesome. Mainly, I think, because of this small Arcturus rail, M-Lock rail. Action, oh, that's cool. You do have the hop-up adjustment in there, it looks like. Pull back and pull forward hop-up. Um, this handle also feels great. It's got a pretty cool uh, sling loop there and there's one built into the rail here. Because if it's wired to Dean's and then it gives you the option of running a Tamiya battery, I'd love that. If it's the other way around, I wouldn't be as happy. I don't think it's wired to the back. I think it's actually wired to the front. So this is something with some of these AKs. I would actually look at this and I'd be like, why would you do that? There's a lot more space in the stock. You could run a butterfly type battery. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and so it's wired to Dean's. So that is good that it's wired to Dean's, but I don't know why they've only kind of left space for a kind of uh, a long battery in there, whereas you've actually got enough space here for a big, large size Tamiya. I presume I can then run an 11.1 on here because it's been wired to Dean's. Looks like a really good quality gun, so I'm excited to see what the value of this is on it. I would say my initial thoughts are this is the win, you know what I mean, out of the three that I've got. So there we go guys, um, I think I'm happy with this one, so I want to check the values of it. One thing I would say is this doesn't have, it's got a selector here with your finger, but it's so hard to do that it's almost impossible to use that. Um, but it's really cool, I mean you can run obviously a sight on the top here, you've got the adjustable iron sights for the AK. I don't know, I like it guys, let's go and have a look and see what the values are. So it looks like Airsoft Megastore have it in stock. And the price, $225. Okay, so I've done pretty well on that. I didn't think it would be that good, but actually that 150 is now turned into 225. Um, so effectively I made $75 on that one, excluding shipping. So if we were doing $20 per one for shipping, um, I've made 55 bucks. So that's a good result. Thank you very much uh, to Airsoft GI. Um, that one's a winner. Yeah, so this one, I believe it is, and it is $213. Um, so, again, guys, we're up $63.88 there, minus 20, so 40 bucks. We're about 115 bucks up already, um, and that's before we've looked at the Arcturus rifle. Um, so guess what, guys? This is the most expensive one, and I've basically doubled my money on this. $310, $309.95, $309.95. Um, so that is I've made 150 bucks. So I think total I'm over $200 in value. So I've spent 400, I'm over 600 in value or 450, I'm over 650 in value. Um, so I think that's pretty incredible guys. Uh, I don't know about you, uh, but I think I've done really well. Um, and I'd be very, I am very, very happy with this. I'd love to know if you guys would be happy. George, what do you think?
I think sending 400 bucks and getting 600, like, that's pretty good, eh? Um, so guys, I'm gonna give this a four out of five. Um, the only other thing I think I could have got is like the mystery box, sorry, mystery box, the monster box, uh, or something that was really incredible like that, where I'm making like a thousand, um, which Airsoft GI do do. Uh, but I just want to say a big thank you to Airsoft GI for helping me during this horrible time when all my stuff got stolen, uh, really reaching out to, com to the community, really reaching out to the community and helping, um, and uh, then also giving me these mystery boxes where I spent 400 bucks and I'm getting you know over 600 bucks in value. This thing I'm really excited to try. Um, I'm going to hold on to that, I think, because it gives me a heavy um, AK with all of the kind of attachments that I want. Um, so I'm really, really excited to try that. Uh, other ones uh, I may just give away, but I want to know what you guys think. Have you tried either of these? Do you like them? We want to know. George, got anything to say? You want to say goodbye? So it gets a four star rating from me, Badger rating, George rating. Go with a three. Okay, we're gonna do a three, just because George is really spoiled, he likes to know what he's getting, uh, and apparently uh, that hasn't imp impressed him, even though nothing impresses him. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna be back with another video soon. Um, if there's any mystery boxes out there you want me to try and get for you, or show you what there's inside them, I'll definitely do that. Um, but wherever you are, have a fantastic day. I've been Six Mil Badger, that's been George. See you on the next video. Thanks guys, bye-bye. <laughs>